Hey guys, welcome back to Nala Nala. So this is vlog number two um, about my life since I've quit my government job. Um, and a lot has happened since then. It's been about two months. I quit, I resigned uh, February 13th and today's April 7th. So it's been almost about like two months. And um, I don't wanna like make this video long. So I wrote a list about um just some key points like what's happened since then um first things first i want to say is i'm still like really happy with my decision i still don't regret it things have been like kind of hard um of course financially because i didn't have anything saved up i didn't like save up 5k then left i was just like you know what today's the day i'm out and i just left with like nothing saved up and um i just went with my heart oh well um but yeah so on my list i wrote um feeling free and liberated i feel like i have so much time but with so much time um you need like discipline so i started my own business i have my llc i make um handcrafted herbal teas um uh, sanctum to 11.com you can follow my ig sanctum.211 on ig um, so I've been doing that, like, in the meantime, like, focusing on that, like, full-time. Because um, that's what I want to do full-time, um, focus on my wellness brand. But, like, with all the time that I have, like, I find it hard to, like, wake up at 7 or, or 8 a.m. and, like, get my day started. Like, you, with all the time that, that you have, um, it's easy to, like, waste it. And there's been, like, plenty of days where I've been, like, down and depressed and like not wanting to do anything and i just waste the whole day just telling myself well i deserve an off day and you know we'll just do it tomorrow and then tomorrow comes and then like the same thing happens and then once that starts happening over and over again you get more depressed it's like i don't have a job i don't have any money i'm not doing nothing with my life and then you know then i get inspired and then start working again but so you need like a lot of discipline which i don't have because i'm lazy i procrastinate i just want to look good and feel good and i don't want to work hard i don't like i'm just gonna keep it a stack but those are some things like quitting my job it's taught me like these are things that i have to change about myself like nobody's gonna get it but you you quit your job Uncle Sam isn't going to be paying you nothing. You have to go out and get it on your own. So in the meantime, I've been like door dashing just to get like a little change in between. Which door dash school, they haven't told me to um, advertise them or anything like that. So I'm not like getting paid to promote them. But I've been door dashing in the meantime. And like the first week I made like 300 in one week and that's just like driving for like two or three days like three to four hours a day like it's not it's really easy but anyways um back to my point yeah having discipline to like do what you need to do and like get work done and also another thing that i've noticed since i've told everyone that i quit my job and you know i'm going to pursue my own business full-time is that when you tell people at least as far as family like, since I've told them that, you know, I resigned from my job and I'm going to pursue my business full time, they think that because I'm not working for someone else, that I'm working for myself, that I still have all this time. Like, my time is now, like, their time. Like, I'm on their schedule. Oh, you're not working, so you can go do this. You can go do that, this, that, and the third. And I'm just like, I got to get stuff done. You know, like, if you tell me in advance, I can make time for you. But just because I'm not putting on a uniform and clocking in at three or four in the morning doesn't mean that I'm available to do whatever you want me to do at whatever time you ask me to. So I'm learning, you know, like I said, boundaries with myself, you know, and discipline and like with other people and enforcing boundaries. So it's, it's teaching me like a lot, like standing up for yourself, you know, like pushing yourself, you know, even if you feel bad you can only do it for you like nobody like people are going to take 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 and take as long as you allow them to and i don't mind giving but it's just you just have to draw the line somewhere so i'm learning that um oh yeah and another thing another little struggle or maybe obstacle that i'm facing is like no health insurance so when i quit my job like that was that was another reason why i was staying for real for real was you know, for the benefits, health, dental, vision, 
And so I had a doctor's appointment um, yesterday and I've been going to like my family doctor for like all my life, like the last 12, 15 years. So they just bill me. So they didn't see that I don't have like insurance. But when I went to go fill my prescription, you know, they said, hey, can we see your insurance card? Because it looks like we're having a problem or whatever. And I was like, crap, I forgot that I quit my job. So I don't have um, any health insurance. So I had to pay out of pocket. So that's another thing that like I it slipped my mind, but I forgot, you know, like I had to um, like think about. So I don't have any health insurance at the moment, but um, I've been going to that pharmacy for a while. So they they said that you know we'll give you a good price i paid 97 bucks for like four prescriptions uh which i thought was gonna be like 150 like 200 bucks so I'm okay yeah so like i was saying so i thought that my prescriptions were going to be like really expensive but they were doable like god provides so um i'm i'm grateful for that so the, so i'm gonna apply for like medicare or something um honestly i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep it a stack because this is a journey and we're just gonna live life but i have a kid so i like really need to get it together but no seriously uh, i'm gonna figure something out because like god always comes through like i've been like two months without a legitimate job and i have not gone without i'm not gonna lie a lot of bills are not paid like my JEA bill is not all the way paid. What else isn't paid? I paid my rent with my STEMI. Like I'm not gonna be dumb, come on now. I actually paid my rent like two months in advance. Like in, I got the STEMI in March. I paid all the way up until May cause I was already late on March's rent. So, um, but I got to pay my car note and then I have a loan and a credit card bill. So I got all these bills. Like when I, y'all, when I tell you, I really like winged it. Like it honestly, it was really irresponsible, but I just know what I felt in my heart. And it's not like you can't make, like make it happen. Like you only have one life. So whatever you want to do, if you want to get out of, out of the shackles of the corporate or the government jobs, do it. It's not like you can't make money out here. You know what I'm saying? You might have to do a couple things to make money. Not like bad things, but just juggle a couple of jobs, like more than one. But it's like doable. Like, and I'm just not about to stress over like what God can provide. So anything's next, which brings me to my next thing on my list is random miracles. So like I said, I've been without a job for like two months, but it's not like I haven't not been getting money. Like I'll randomly get like $50. I randomly got like $400. Um, and um, so why this lady from my mom's church, we was dropping off this booklet to her house and she came up to the window and they were talking about the book or whatever. I'm on my phone and she's just like, increase. And I'm looking at her and like looking back at my mom, like, is she talking to me? And she's like, yes, you, you have increased over your life. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I claim it because I've been feeling like i'm about to like be up right now because like i said i didn't quit my job for no reason like i really felt the need in my heart that god is taking my life in a different direction and i'm not gonna lie i'd be like reading into like astrology and tarot and i still believe in jesus lord forgive me i'm gonna quit but it's so addictive but still so anyways but it's crazy that my astrology readings and also what the lady from church is like aligning so I feel like either way I'm good like the stars are telling me that I'm gonna be good like my career is about to pop off about to get this money and then this lady from church it's like this increase over your life like increase is really about to come so like you'll find you'll find um confirmation but you have to go with your gut feeling like you have to go with with your uh intuition so you know sometimes you know i'll doubt myself like is should i have done that like maybe i should have just stayed for like another month and just did some overtime, picked up like 10 million shifts and then like left. 
But, you know, God shows me every time, like, I got you where I need you to be. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. And it just makes me have more confidence in God, more confidence in myself. You know, like I said, I haven't been without. There are bills that are not paid. But you see this? What's this called? Um, whatever that thing is. I can't think of it right now. But it's spinning. That means <laughs> that there's electricity in this house when I got $20 in my account. Okay? So that should just be, you know, a sign in itself. So this is vlog two. Still major struggles out here. I don't have that much money or any money. I'm about to go DoorDash later to get maybe like $50, $80. So I can buy some more supplies for my um business. Because I've been doing my business full time. Because I need to buy a printer. I need to buy some more herbs. I need to buy some... um like that sticky printer paper because I'm making my own labels because Vista print is expensive, okay? And some other stuff that's on my to-do list. Um, but I'm going to get it together and it's coming together and it is together because I claim it. So that's vlog two. Um, you know I'm going to update you guys later on. And things are going to go good. Like, I have a good feeling about this. Like, y'all going to see my come up story. Like, I just have no doubts whatsoever. I don't know how it's going to happen. But, like, I'm chosen. Like, it's just going to happen. So, you see this nail? But the nails are done. But it's times like this that, you know, make you who you are. Because I know who I am. And it's all going to be good. All right, bye, y'all.